very famous person lived who didn't talk to his four, didn't walk to his two. And if he was born today, he'd probably be in special ed. Is that correct? That would make a yes, good yes. His name was Albert Einstein. Now, he had a little dyslexia. Uh, he, 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 I think he did okay in his life. He eventually got in a place called uh, Zurich Institute of Technology. He came in second in this very difficult exam. And after I read the book about his life, I wonder who came in one to beat Einstein, and no one knows much about that guy. But the point is, you can't prejudge a lot of kids in the beginning, because sometimes it takes a little while for the kid to step up to the plate, maybe a little difficulty getting started, and many of them are late bloomers. So not every kid that doesn't do it on time is going to end up with a problem. Is that correct? Uh, correct. Uh, that's a great expression, late bloomers. Uh, I, I use that quite a bit. Um, the parents ask me questions that are very dissettling, and I'll tell you what I mean. They'll ask me about a four and five and six and seven and eight year old child if he sort of, let's say, has a friendship in the class with one of the more difficult kids, and the two kids get in trouble a lot. They start to project ahead and say, Do you think he's the kind of kid who could wind up with gangs or maybe drugs? They're asking me about a six year old child, and I say to them, there's no correlation. Uh, your child is a little more energetic, a little more hyper, perhaps a little more precocious, perhaps a little bit more strident than maybe some of the other kids. So they're getting noticed uh, by the teachers. But um, he may be a great politician, great lawyer, great, great spokesman one day, your kid. We did a thing. We discussed being different makes you special. So maybe if everybody's the same, it's like common. If someone's a little different, a little act a little way, acts a little bit differently, that's special. Then I like everybody else. That's not a negative. That's a positive. It makes life very interesting. Uh, that's one of the things I like about diversity is getting to know. You know, I grew up in a very non-diverse area. I find that everywhere now is diverse. You know, it's amazing. The people you meet and the experiences you have, it's, it's just fascinating.